Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We They come against every distraction, every confusion, every mild spirit, every spirit of smallness, every spirit of the presence of God. And I ask God, let this power of God, let this power of God come and take control over everything this morning. At the end, let me look glorified and magnified in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. you, Father, so spirit, for in Jesus Christ, mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Our beloved brethren, uh, this morning I'm very you know, uh, glad to be in your presence. And I thank God for giving us the grace to be again here this morning in his presence. Uh, please, uh, as we listen to his word this morning, uh, we have the word of God to share this morning. We are all going to participate in the teaching this morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. And then the topic of today's discussion is um, the secret place, dwelling in the secret place of God. Dwelling in the secret place of God. Praise the Lord. As a child of God, you and I, we need to hide ourselves in the presence of God so that the enemy will not see us to, uh, to strike, but the enemy will not see us to use as a prey in their, in their hand. Amen. So this morning, as we uh, go on this morning, I will please uh, um, my brother, brother Emmanuel, uh, brother jo uh, Joseph, uh, sister Anna, and uh, brother Samuel, and uh, who again is there? Uh, sister Sharon, please, we help this morning. We help us this morning in the Bible reading mm -hmm. that uh, all will be able to to flow together. God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So this morning, uh, the Bible verse, our body this morning, I took from the book of uh, uh, Psalm 91, we will read from verses 1 to 16. Praise the Lord. That is the Bible passage this morning. We are going to be uh, discussing this morning. Praise the Lord. So, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, I will please uh, encourage um, Brother. Emmanuel, to please read from verses 1 uh, to, to 5. Uh, first of all, I want us to know that the secret of God is a place where his children, you know, uh, seek for deliverance, where his children, you know, abide under his, uh, his uh, command, where they, they, they ask for protection where you know the, the, the is a place of concealment of all things all good things that the devil cannot be able to penetrate nor can say praise Master jesus christ so please my brother, you read from verses one to five of uh, psalm chapter number one amen praise the lord hallelujah i read in jesus name amen he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Two, 
I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God and him will I trust. Three, surely, Go ahead, sir. Three, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and the, and the noisome pestilence. Four, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Five, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Um, love, we just had now from the passage we read now, from where you read now, that the first one said, it said, He that dwelleth in the scriptures of the Most High God, the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of his wing. So if we you know, hide ourselves under the shadow of God, we hide of ourselves under his, I mean, under the shadow of his wing, no power can be able to come near us and take us away from there. Yesterday we had. This, this morning when we were in prayer meeting this morning we had our said this morning you know from the first of April this year alone to this to uh, today that so many children have been killed in UK and so also is happening everywhere in the world in Germany in America in Ireland in other parts of the world why because they were exposed to the enemy praise the Lord and for us to be able to get the position of God, we need the secret place of God Almighty to dwell. That is why, you know, we children that are looking out to have uh, parents that are Christian, we don't know what God has done for us. For we, who, you know, who have who are already grown before we start running to, uh, to, to hide ourselves in the place of God, we pass through so many, you know, so many things, so many others. So, and I pray today that God Almighty will make his secret place to be more available for us all on this mountain in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. So, my, my, my beloved brother, if you look at verse 2, he said, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. Refuge means somebody that's been that big pursue, somebody that's that, that, that running, you know, from. Uh, from danger where he had is a place of refuge someone that that is being you know maybe is uh where he's living is 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 uh his home the, the place is is, uh, is a war zone they are fighting there there's a war like what is happening in nigeria that the herdsmen they are killing you know people in some states in nigeria so wherever the, the people now run to is their place of refuge so as children of god we have all you and i have all run to hide ourselves under the refuge of God that no power again can go to, you know, take us away. That is the hope or that is the confidence we now have that our God is there for us to guide us and put us all in Jesus Christ by the name. Amen. And I pray that that God that have, you know, taken, that, that we, have, we, have, we have run to as our place of refuge will never, you know, forsake us nor leave us alone because we are his children. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, if we read the verses uh, three, it says surely he shall deliver thee from the from the snare of the fowler and from the noisy pestilence. Noisy pestilence is you know is the the, 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 the voice of war. Is 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 the voice of the of the of the enemy. So as as as. In as much as we have taken, you know, the place of God as our refuge, they will no longer be able to, you know, to come near us or to strike us anymore because our God will spread out, you know, his war uh, 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 net to catch them and destroy them on our behalf. Praise the Lord. That's why when we sleep at night, we woke up in the morning, you know, we are still who we are, but the same people, same people, some people sleep at the night, they woke up in the morning, some of them are dead, some of them, they find themselves, you know, with sicknesses and they are rushed to the hospital for treatment and maybe some from there some of them will pass away or some of them will remain in that sickness you know for a very long time 
or some of them will not even require again. And I pray that God Almighty, who has been there for us, who has protected us, who has made his place for us as a place of, of refuge, will also be able to guide us unto eternity in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The first uh, four and five, he said, He shall cover thee with his you know, feathers, and under his wings shall you know, uh, thou trust. His truth shall be thy shed and buckler. Five, thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by day, nor the, 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 the arrow that flieth the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth in the day. So, because we are his children, because we have accepted him now as our father, as our you know refuge, though no matter what they were doing, no matter their their you know their uh, um, system or whatever they want to apply to come near us, they will never be able to come near us. It's only with our ear we hear you know what they have done. Our eye will see what they have done, but they will never be able to know our places of re of, of of residence in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Wow. Um, hey. So please let uh, uh, Sister Sharon read from verses 6 to 10. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Not for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou was made the Lord, which is our refuge, even the most high our habitation. There shall no evil befell us, neither shall any plague come near our dwelling place. Amen. Amen. But then this this you know a Bible passage this morning is self very very self explanatory. So it said no the no for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness nor for the destruction that you know wasted at no day which means there's power that keep people at no day and there's also power that keep people at night mm. we have seen so the, those, those children that, that, that are being stabbed that are being killed by their friends it is not the intention of their friends to kill them nobody will just wake up one morning and say i want to go and kill somebody so somebody must have that means something must have entered them a spirit must have entered them to go and carry out that, you know, that uh, uh, act of killing. And that is the spirit of wastage. So I pray that that spirit of wastage will never know the dwelling of any children on this mountain in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. They, they, can be, they can be, you know, it can be how many of them? They can be thousands of them. But we will walk, we will walk in their midst and pass to where we are going to. Because the the, the, the the person of God is upon us. They will see us and be able to see something else. They will not be to, to look on your face anymore because the person of God is upon you. The edge of the person of God is upon you. That's why we, anywhere we go, when we pray, God, I'm going out now. I'm going to school. Please lead me there and bring back home. Let everything that, that day be, you know, let anything happen that school, but you'll not be there. Either you are gone or it will happen before you, you, you get there because God is the one Letting you and work to protect you and protect our families in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, children, uh, children of God, all we need this, you know, this period of our lifetime is the protection of God. It's what to come to dwell on the secret place of God Almighty. Because if not, devil is very, very, very wicked. He's there to to kill anybody. He's there to waste anybody. That's why you see today, you know, people because of 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 uh, you know ignorance, they they will tell you, yeah, uh, I don't think, I don't think that there, there, there is God, and they will go out, they will not come back again, and that person will go to hell fire. There's no there's no you know two about it, because he didn't know God, and he has used himself to use him to to hurt that there is no God. So God will also reject him on the last day. So for us who are here, who are looking to be here, because of our, you know, parental background. Uh, we, we, we grew up now in the, in the Christian home. I pray that God Almighty will help us all to be to, you know, to remain faithful, to remain, you know, secure in the sand in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. But for us to be able to dwell in this place of God, there's 
one thing we must do, we must forsake sin. Praise the Lord. We must fall away from sin. Let's go to the book of Psalm chapter number 15. We'll read from 1 to 5. Uh, Brother Joseph, please go to Psalm 15. Uh, read from 1 to 5. One to five, yes, sir. Amen. Uh, Lord, who may be able, to, who may abide in your tabernacle, who may dwell in your holy hill? He, verse two, he who walks uprightly and works righteousness, he and speaks the truth in his heart, the truth. He who does not backbite with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor does he take up a reproach against his friend, for in whose eyes a vile person is despised, but the honors, but he honors those who fear the Lord. He who swears to his own hurt and does not change. Five, he who does not put on his money and and usury, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. He who does do does these things shall never be moved. Amen. Sound fifteen. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do the Lord. Hallelujah. But then we have seen this is this is the criteria for us to be able to to hide in the secrets of God. Amen. Because the Bible said, I read again, it said, then answered Eliphaz the Temite and said, Should a, should a wise man uttered you know, a, a vain knowledge and fill his his belly with the with, 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 with the east wind. Should the should he reason with unprofitable talk or with species with I mean wherewith he can do no good? Can anybody who does no good be able to enter the place of God? No. So somebody who, who, who is speaking, you know, a, a word that don't glorify God, can you to enter the, the, the peace of God? No. So for us to be able to enter his place, we must be able to abstain ourselves from, from all this, you know, talk and all this group of people. That is, that is the one criteria for us to be able to, you know, to stay in that secret place of God. No matter what we do, we can be sleeping in the church. You can be, you know, sleeping in the altar of God every day, every night. Without doing the will of God, the position of God will not be there for us. Praise the Lord. So, for, for God to be able to stand for us, for for to be secured and be, be, be sure, be guaranteed of that scripture of God, we must avoid, you know, this uh, uh, Bible outline uh, 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 criteria. Number five said, let me go to number five. He said, for thy mouth uttereth thy iniquity, and thou chooseth the tongue of the crafty. Anybody that is doing wickedly is not a child of God. Cannot be able, God cannot protect him or her. Praise the Lord. So for us to dwell in that scripture of God, all of us, both, all of us, both, we, our parents, will be able to avoid, you know, whatsoever that will make the face of God to be, to, to be hidden from us. And I pray that God Almighty will help us all in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Children, dwelling in the, in the secrets of God, it requires so many things. If we read, <clears throat> let somebody, excuse me, please let somebody go to the book of uh, Psalm 100. Psalm 100, 3, um, verse 3 to 4, and Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 3. Praise the Lord. Samuel, uh, who is that? Um, brother, is that Brother James? I be a brother. Um, yeah, I can see your hand. So please go to. Uh, brother James. Brother James. Okay. So, Please go to number, go to Psalm 100, verses 3 to 4. Psalm 100, verses 3 to 4. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Know ye that the Lord 
he is God, is it, it is he that had made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the, and the sheep of the pastor. Verse 4, enter into the gates and thank, with thanksgiving and into the courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. Amen. Brethren, for we to be able <clears throat> to dwell in the place of God, we must first of all know that he is the one that make us, we didn't make ourselves. Mm -hmm. And our heart must be full of praise to him at every given time. And not to begin to think evil in our heart. Any, any heart that thinketh evil before God is an enemy of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, I, to be able to enter that scripture of God, we need to first of all, see, as we are here now, this morning, we have parents that give birth to us. So, if we, if we, if we you know, behave to them uh, wickedly, praise the Lord, if we, if we behave to them wickedly, that day, some of them are not eating that house. Or we are not able to, 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 to see, you know, to sit down with our parents on that day. Am I lying? So also is God. So if we if we do anything that is contrary to, to the will of God within our life, then we no matter the, the, the righteousness life we live this day, if today we have turned away from that righteousness life and begin to do we can live, we become his enemy. I pray. That not force will become his enemy, the enemy of God on this mountain in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. So, but then we have to know we, we must be able to, to live a life that will be able to correct every one of us at every good time. No matter who you are, try to live the life that God will see and be pleased in heaven. That his eye will always be upon you, upon everyone first on this mountain. If not, devil is very, very near, very nearer than the clothes we are putting on. And I pray that God Almighty will help us all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, brother, uh, brother Samuel, please read uh, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 3. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Uh, somewhere, somewhere, Germany. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Somewhere, Germany. Jeremiah yeah. chapter three, verse three. Okay. Call unto me, and I will. And Who is somewhere are you talking about? Anyway. I said somewhere, Germany. Uh, okay, hey, you want it now? Okay. Uh, right, okay, sorry, man. <laughs> somewhere, uh, Saturday. Go ahead, sir. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and sh shall shall thee great, surely great, show thee, show thee great, show great, and me marvelous things which which no no was not, for thou say say the Lord the God of Israel concerning the house of this praise the Lord I read say call unto me and I will show thee I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty which thou knowest not praise the Lord the only God that will be able to direct us every day in our life. You know, we, we think as in, as in, the watchman will always say that the day you think you have no God, that is the day of your failure. That is the day you move to backslide. Our our God is the God that shows us everything, every new thing every day. There are so many things that we have never heard before in our life. As we woke up this morning, he put it in the mouth of his servant to tell the children that this thing don't do it. If you do it, you are my enemy. But you think, oh, but this one was not yesterday. 
Yes, that those are one of the things that will make us to remain abiding in the secret place of God. Praise the Lord. Because without without you know, being chastised, without being guided by the word of God, all of us will fail. That's why we need to continually to stay in the secret place of God every day of our life. At the end, we all will be able to enter heaven at last on that last day in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Uh, Amen. That the grace for us to hear the word of God and to obey it, God Almighty, we grant it to everyone of us as we gather together every day on this mountain in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Uh, and still on that book of Psalm 91, uh, please let somebody read uh, from um, a station on top of verse 10. So can somebody read please from verse 11 to 16. I mentioned sister. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, son. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Twelve, thy shall bear thee. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against thy stone. Thirteen, thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder the young lion, and the dragon shall not trample under feet. Fourteen, because he had set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he had known my name. Fifteen, he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him in honor and honor him. 16, the last verse. With, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my, show him my salvation. Amen. Amen. God bless you, my beloved brother. We, we, you know, God, we have seen you know, the promises of God upon our lives if only we surrender ourselves you know into the scriptures of god praise the lord you see if we give you know his angels charge over us where the angel of god go with you before you and after you tell me which devil can go to come near you and devour you that day no 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 way it's, it's not possible praise the lord that's why we all we need that secret of God to dwell in every day of our life. As a child of God, all you need to do every day is to first of all, you know, thank God for this for this uh, ministry. That every morning we have what is called Holy Ghost Hour, every day, and that make us you know to hide ourselves into the scripture of God every day before going out for anything. Once that secret is there. Devil will not be able to, you know, to stand your way. Let anything happen that day. You are sure, you are, you are guaranteed that God is there to send for his angel to, charge, to take charge over your day and over your going and coming in. Let's, to see, see, when the sister was talking this morning, you know, I, I, my, my heart bled. You know, when, when you were talking this morning, that from the 1st of April this year, this very month we are now, today is the 14th, that so many children have, have been stabbed to death in UK. That's UK alone. And this children, they have parents. They have bring them up to that, you know, maybe about 16 years or 14 years or 10 years. And for you to train, we all know, for you to train the child that, but for you to know, for, for, for you to, 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 to grow up to that, to that stage in life, you know what, what the parents have put in, the effort alone and now all is wasted and the children no matter what happened today that family they will remain in that sorrow you know unto eternity because they did not commit those children into the hand of god or they don't commit their way to the hand of god and i pray that god almighty will grant every one of us on this mountain to always commit our ways into the hand of god for protection in jesus christ mighty name amen, amen. beloved brethren there's 
there's a there's a you know this uh, uh, very uh, powerful uh, uh, commentary. The verse I, I read uh, verse uh, said because he he has set his love upon me. The love of God, you know, it has no barrier. If God has loved you, you must be able to keep yourself in that love every day, every night, every morning, every evening. To the Lord. Because if God loves you, then Satan will not be able to have power over you. That's why we always call upon the name of God Almighty. We always, you know, pray for mercy. But we don't know if our talk has offended God or was was the way we look. That, that's why the man of God said, my brother, it is not even for you to, to sacrifice sin every minute, every second day. It's not too much. Because devil is a very crafty element. He's there watching to see every, every you know, uh, 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 a little opportunity to, to, to react. So for us to be able to, to attract the love of God every day in our life, we need to confess, you know, sins every time, every day of our life. So that devil will not have, you know, power to accuse of for God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Let us turn about to the book of uh, uh, Zechariah chapter 3. Somebody please read from verses 1 to 3. Three. Praise the Lord. Sister, um, Sister Anna, please read Zechariah chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. And he shoot me Joshua the he sh and he shewed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan, standing at his right hand to resist him. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan, even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. There is not this a brand plucked out of the fire. Now Joshua was cl clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angel. Praise the Lord. Joshua never knew that, you know, he was put with fitting garment. Joshua was a high priest of God. He thought, ah, I would, I'm, I'm very, you know, I'm very clean. I, I do everything about, you know, the word of God. But he never knew that there was something Satan was holding on to in, in his life that would have make him, you know, to go to, I mean, not for, for the place of God to, not, not to come to pass in, in, in his life. Praise the Lord. Because dwelling in the scriptures of God, God will always place his eye upon you. Because Joshua was a high priest of God, that's why God was merciful on him. Well, maybe he must have pleaded for mercy somehow. That is why God remember him and sent you know, his angel you know, to go and remove that that uh, 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 that is for him. That is the same way we all must be able to live our life. We must be able to make the eye of God to be upon us that we will remain under his secret place of, of, of dwelling forever. If not, set, we see what's going to do to, to Jesus here. Satan wanted to, to, to make sure that that thing God wanted to give to Jesus will not come to pass because there was a fault in, in, in the life of Jesus which Jesus never knew. And I pray that God Almighty will always place an eye on us, that He will never, you know, forsake or leave us alone all this of our lives in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I don't think, I hope I still have uh, more time. No, sir. Okay, okay, ma. God bless you. Use name. So, Please, um, maybe we'll continue next week from where we stop. So, but on our own at home, I want us to read First uh, John chapter two verse fifteen. Praise the Lord. First John chapter two verse fifteen, and also for us to read Isaiah chapter thirteen verse fifteen. Praise the Lord. First John two. 15, then Isaiah 30, 15, Psalm 
139 verse 2. Matthew chapter 6 verse 6. And Mark chapter 1 verse 35. Praise the Lord. I was there. Sorry, sir. M Matthew 6 words, sir. Matthew 6 6. All right, sir. Thank you. Then Mark chapter 1 verse 35. Then we can also read there Psalm, Psalm 69, verse 5. Psalm 69, verse 5. So, every next week will come, we'll, stop, we'll, we'll start from there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, before I hand over to the moderator, any question? Uh, let us take one or two questions. Praise the Lord. Uh, Memory verse for next week. I will read uh, Psalm chapter 1, verse 1. Psalm chapter 1, verse 1. Memory verse for next week. Amen. So, please, any question? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. So, what's the topic? Topic is dwelling in the secrets of of God. Dwelling, sorry. Dwelling in the secrets of God. Dwelling in the secrets of God. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Please, that Psalm is it Psalm 129 verse 2 or Psalm 139 verse 2? Psalm 139 verse 2. 139. Okay, sir. Psalm what, sir? 139 verse 2. Another question. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Does it mean we all understand the message this morning? Okay. okay. Can somebody tell us what it means to dwell in the secret of God? To abide with God. Good. Another contributor. Yes. Go ahead, sir. I, I think somebody little okay somewhere. That to um um not um not dwell in the secret of God. Um, accuse you to 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 disobey. Thank you, sir. There's one that brother lose of hand just now. To abide with God. 
You say, what's that? I didn't hear you, sir. To abide with God. He said to dwell in the scriptures of the Most High God is to abide to abide. He said to it. He said to abide in God. I said I have heard. Yeah, I heard you, sir. First, Master Jesus Christ. Amen. Please, uh, Sister Harry, mute your mic. Uh -huh. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God bless you all for that beautiful uh, contributions. By God Almighty, we grant you more wisdom, more knowledge about His Word. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Uh, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, please, is there no force here this morning who have not yet given his life to God? What God wants from us is not only to hear the word, but to dwell in the word of God and to understand it. So if you are here this morning, you have not yet given your life to Christ. You are only just here to, to, to hear and to, to play away. I pray that God Almighty this morning we have mercy upon you. So if you are here this morning, if you are here this morning, I, I pray with you. And please, first of all, repeat this word or question after me. Lord Jesus, I have come to your uh, to your table of teaching this morning, and I have your word. Please have mercy upon me. I now realize that I have not been living the life of, of God, as I have heard you all this morning. Please have mercy upon me, accept me, as one of your children this morning, that on that last day, when the preacher signed, I will not be cast away from the present in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. And I pray with you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, each day I thank you, Lord, for your children this morning who have heard your word and decided to come back to you as their father. Lord Jesus, Father, as your word said, that you have not come for the righteous, but sinner unto repentance. Father, I ask, Lord, that you have mercy upon them accept them as your children and let their name be engraved in your palm that on that last day when to be your son no power no demon can be to take them away from your hand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. thank you father Holy Spirit, for in jesus christ mighty name i have prayed amen father in the name of jesus that they are thank you worship lord i do like honor for this this morning Father, O Lord, have I spoken at a contest? Have we, O Lord, done something, O Lord, that will make, O Lord, you are sure to, to be, you know, said away from this morning? Father, after your mercy, Father, Lord, grant us the grace, O Lord, to, O Lord, to be the one here for the world. At the end, we all will be able to enter into your rest on the last day. In Jesus' name, may. thank you, first of all, all glory, all glory, because of your name. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. <laughs> What do you mean? Bishop of a soul, shepherd of a soul.